Hello everyone, today I'm going to review my Princess of Power Shira from the Masterverse line by Mattel. So this is my Shira over here. Let's get a good look at her. Here she is up close. Very nice head sculpt. She really looks like the 80s cartoon that I used to watch that I grew up with. So I really like this figure. Nice real cloth cape. Uh, let's show you her articulation. Her head. Her head can be removed by the way and you can turn her around all around. Her arm can go about this far. It also turns all around. She has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Her wrists go all around as well. And they are removable. She has an ab crunch. So you get that ab crunch going over there. There. She she has some waist articulation, so underneath her little tunic you could turn her around. So she's got that going on. Underneath her skirt, she's got waist articulation. Really soft, um, soft molded skirt. So she could do the splits all the way. Her thigh, you can swivel around. She's got double jointed knees. So you get a full bend out of that. And her ankles. Up and down. So that's pretty much the articulation of this Shira. So once again, let's take a good, quick look at her. There she is with her nice head sculpt over there. Very pretty. Really reminds me of the Shira from the 80s that I used to watch. There's her waist soft rubber so it doesn't impede her movement she's got some detailing on her gauntlets yeah I think you can see it over here she also has some detailing on her boots there turn her all around that's her hair over there flowing hair real nice cloth fabric cape so now I'm going to show you her accessories. First off, we got her Sword of Protection. It's got some pipe lighting going on over there. Although mine's got some smudges on the other side of the gem in the middle, but that's cool. Some silver paint smudges, but that's how the sword looks. Her Sword of Protection. And her other accessories, as I, as I show them to you over here, let me just bring them out. She's got this alternative mask head. I watched a lot of Shira growing up, so I'm not really so sure if this came out in one of the episodes of the cartoon, but that's her mask head. Kind of reminds me of Jane Foster. Yeah. She's got this. A little bit of a golden shoulder pads with her a longer cape. So I'll put this on her later on. As mentioned, she's got swappable hands. So she's got this right fist hand over here. So you could just pop this one out. If you want to give her a fist hand, you could put this over here. Fits in right over there. Now she's got a fist hand. And she's got a left sword holding hand. So if you want to make her hold the sword in the left, she could do so. You just have to pluck them out. And she's got this. This is her shield, which is actually her sword of protection in shield form. You know, that's actually this. Because her sword in the show, in the old 80s show, shapeshifts a lot. It becomes a lasso. It becomes a shield. It becomes other items that she needs depending on the plot. So it's a shape-shifting shield. And the shield's got a nice little... Yeah. It's got this on the back. So it's pretty easy to strap it on. So you can imagine she changed her sword into a shield and it fits right in on that left hand, you know, that open hand, which is her shield holding hand, sheathes in right there nicely. So there she is. You could pretend that she changed her sword into shield form to like protect her, like if Hordax shooting stuff at her, she could do this. That's pretty cool. Next I'm going to show you some of her alternative looks. So her head snaps right off also, so we just gotta gently pull it off. 
So I'm gonna gently pull mine off right here. Let's get, it takes a little bit of force, but it's off. You can replace the cape piece. This one fits in perfectly right there. And you can put in her helmeted look. Fits in right over there. And now she kind of looks like Jane Foster, if you ask me. <laughs> but yeah, that's Shira with her alternative look. So you could combine you could combine the other cape with the other head, etc. So this is the other cape. This is a standard cape where it kind of has her golden neck collar. So this is Shira right now with her alternate look where she's got this. It's a nice mask. She looks like a, looks like a Valkyrie or she looks like Jane Foster. She's got this red gem in the middle so it looks pretty good. So that's Shira in her alternate form. Here's Shira's box by the way. Princess of Power, Mattel, 30 points of articulation, got the little 40th anniversary logo over there. Princess of Power Shira. Turn it around. Oh, let's look at the side first. Got some nice art of Shira raising up the sword of protection with her left hand. On this side, we got here Shira, the most powerful woman in the universe. In the back, we got this really great artwork of her with, with Swift Wind. Swift Wind here looks kind of purple. I mean, he's supposed to be white, but you know, it's got a purple hue here, but you know, it still looks good. There's Swift Wind over there, and there's Hero with the Sword of Protection. Get a close up of that. It has a very nice retro 80s look. There she is. Pretty good. The sword is emitting that energy. Very nice. And here you get to see some. A quick write up Shira. Most powerful woman in the universe when Adora raises the sword of protection above her head and cries for the honor of Grayskull, she transforms into Shira, princess of power and leader of Etheria's great rebellion. So yep, there she is. Very nice box. There's the top of the box in case you're wondering. And the bottom. So that's the box of my Shira, princess of power. Mattel action figure. For a sense of kits, for a sense of scale, she's a seven inch figure. Here she is with my Masterverse Barbarian Skeletor. They scale up pretty well. Here she is next to a Hasbro Marvel Legend, so she is taller. Here she is with my Hasbro Valkyrie, who is a big figure and they scale up pretty well. They have a pretty good size together over there. And here she is with a WWE Mattel figure. So there she is with Bill Goldberg. So she's pretty much the same height as a WWE Mattel figure. A little bit a little bit tall in fact, but that's their scaling all together. So there she is. Nice little scale comparison over there. So here's Shira back in her default form. So uh, she looks pretty good. Shira is one of my favorite characters growing up because I got to watch her when I was a kid. I think the series came out in 1985, but then um, I got to watch some reruns later on. Uh, so I got to watch, I remember watching this every 5.30 p.m. after some school, I get to watch this. And I actually watched the Shira episodes before I watched the He-Man um, cartoon, and I remember He-Man always guest starring in the in the Shira show, so because they were twin siblings. So here she is, you know, she's pretty cool in that show. She's got a bunch of power. She's super strong. Her sword shape shifts into you know different um, items that she needs for the story. Most of the time into a shield, sometimes into a lasso. She's got healing powers, and she can talk to animals. So she's got nice. Um, she got all kinds of nice uh, moves over there. I mean, nice powers over there. And uh, I remember her being with the bad guys at first, with with on Hordak's team, her enemies Hordak. And um, yeah, she was like she was like a lieutenant there. 
And then, you know, Adam gave her the sword and uh, she switched sides and she became Shira. She became part of the rebellion as Adora and the, her alter ego, Shira. So it's pretty cool. And this one pretty much captures how she looks in that 80s cartoon, which I really like. You know, it's got the nice details going on. It's got the little extra detail of, the, of these little faint designs on her boots. Whereas in the show and her and faint designs on her gauntlets with some detailing, you know, kind of has these clasps to keep it together. Whereas in the show, they were pretty much just plain. So it's pretty good. Overall, I like this figure. Um, she looks really great. She can move pretty well despite this, um, despite this uh, skirt because it's made of a kind of a soft rubbery material. So it does not impede movement. And overall, I like her. So that's my review for Shira. Yeah. <laughs>